sure you can figure it out and yeah we'll get to that a little later hey it's Jason coming in in classic fashion wanted to give you an update on a couple things with the channel first and foremost off the bat I have revamped the channel what do I mean by that I've edited the pictures I've edited my picture and I've also edited the channel's name so previously it was Jason Hugh Productions and now it is Jason's House of Fun and Video Games. So why did I make that change all of a sudden three years after starting the YouTube channel? Well, I think that honestly my direction and my failings and everything from 2015 was in a different place than I am now and I felt that I want to change everything for where I am now and I think that I'm allowed to do that because it's really my channel, right? Um, so that's basically the big update with that, so I'm pretty excited with the way it looks now. So what else has been going on other than uh, that? Well, I've been playing something pretty recently. It's Call of Duty. Nope, it's not. It's Spider-Man. I know, big shocker. Although it's not a retro game, uh, and I promise a lot of retro video gameplay and commentaries and all that other fun stuff. Uh, it is a game that I picked up recently, and I say, hey the hell? Again, my channel. I do what I want, right? I do what I want! Whatever, I'm not even going to go there. It's been done 20,000 times. Anyway, so Spider-Man for the PlayStation 4. This game is fantastic. A lot of the feedback that I've heard about it, the main thing, was that the game was very short. I haven't seen that. I'm about 50% through it, and it's going about the same pace and speed as I go through any of the other Spider-Man games um, from this generation, PS3 and 2 and 1 and so forth. So I was gotten to thinking, this is such a great game. What are the great games that I played you know, over the last 20 years in regards to Spider-Man? And the first one that came to mind was Maximum Carnage. So this came out in 1994. It was based on the comic book series or incarnation of Spider-Man that was called Maximum Carnage and I gotta tell you this game is fantastic I have both versions of this I have the Super Nintendo and the Sega version I prefer the Sega version over the Super Nintendo because I think it sounds better which is weird because it's usually the other way around but regardless that was a pretty great game the furthest I've gotten into it without cheating, because there's game cheating codes and all that other fun stuff that, you know, was great to do, but I like a challenge, is right to Carnage, right to the last part of the game, and that was it. Carnage just ate me alive and end game over. That was it. So the other game that came to mind as well that I certainly want to maybe do a review on, share some gameplay and my thoughts on, was... The Amazing Spider-Man vs. The Kingpin. So this is also a game that came out in the 90s. Do you see this? Can I, I just want to show you this right here, right? See that? That's unfortunate. I take very good care of my games. And the Sega CD games, I gotta tell you, the packaging, the cases were crap. I heard that there's some company out there that's hopefully going to kickstart um, selling these type of cases for a decent amount of money not a large amount of money so we can actually replace them and enjoy um, the wonders of the Sega CD so what are the reasons why I like this game it's an awesome platformer uh, it's the only spider-man game that I had at the time because this was before maximum carnage that I really enjoyed because there was only a very few other choices. There was uh, Spider-Man for the Atari, which I didn't have uh, much interaction with. And also there was uh, another Spider-Man game for an, the regular Nintendo or the uh, NES or the NES, whatever you want to call it. 
and that didn't really uh, tickle my fancy or excite me too much. So um, hopefully we'll get to that pretty soon. The other thing that's suddenly taken my time is, yep, yeah, he had to bring up a Call of Duty game. Call of Duty Black Ops 4. The haters are going to hate. I'm a Call of Duty fan. I love the series. And it brought me into loving first-person shooters, I'm not going to lie. So uh, they hit it right on the head. Treyarch did a wonderful job with this game. Of course, microtransactions make these games keep going, and that's how they make money. So kudos to them. Tip of the hat. Um, but what I was saying was that this game is great. Um, it does have the multiplayer aspect, which is my main place, that I love to to go through and play and there's also zombies as well uh, which I do periodically play from time to time so pretty excited with this the last couple of incarnations of Call of Duty have not been hits so what else do I got on my mind oh I'll tell you uh, for the last five months I have not had any fast food at all yeah I know uh, there was a period in my time where I loved fast food I know this is a weird topic which is something that came to the top of my head um, and after five months you have flushed your system of some serious nonsense right so what do I do today I decide to take me and my daughter out and we go to KFC because if there's anyone I'm gonna go to it's KFC like the chicken macaroni whatever and uh, as you can tell by that bathroom visit at the beginning of this video there's a reason why I don't do the fast food anymore it definitely hits you in the wrong place so I don't certainly hold anything against anybody that loves fast food but since I haven't been eating it I certainly feel better as a human being and I don't make too many trips to the old porcelain bowl but hey it is what it is and every once in a while I like to dive in and eat some nasty greasy shitty food I appreciate you watching my video as always if uh, you want to become a member of the channel, just uh, make sure to hit that subscribe button. And if you like the video, give me a thumbs up. If you didn't like the video, give me a thumbs down. Horizon, and this is just about me having fun. I want to do something in my spare time. I'm not looking to make any serious cash. I'm not looking to make a name for myself. I'm just looking to have fun and share my experiences with somebody else. As in, now, when I first started watching YouTube, that's the kind of people that I watched were just people who are just being genuine. So if you have a chance, do those things, and I'll see you for the next video. And as always, this is Jason from Jason's House of Fun and Video Games. Wow, that's a ton twister. Hope to see you soon. Have a good night.